Good morning, friends and beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, thank you for stopping by. My name is Natalie. I am currently a long-term sub in Northern California for a third grade class, and I love it. I just finished my credential in January, so this year I will be applying for full-time teaching positions for August. Um, so I'm kind of taking you guys through that and my entire journey as a long-term sub and crafting for my classroom, of course. So... Today, I'm super excited. I'm sharing a DIY project with you guys that I have had in my heart, in my head, in my soul since I decided I wanted to be a teacher um, a very long time ago. So it is a teacher rocking chair for my classroom. I have this vision in my head of what I want it to look like and I have Pinterest ideas and I'm just super excited to take you guys along with me since yesterday I found the perfect chair and let's check it out. <music> my beautiful chair that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $20. I sanded it down. I didn't film that for you guys. It was a process. Um, I did that yesterday and then I wiped it down, let it dry overnight. And now I'm going to use this white bear paint that we used to paint our dresser in our house. I'm going to start by painting it white and then I'll have to go get more paint for pops of color and stuff that I want to add to it. But here we go. It is now two days later since I've seen you. This is real life, real world. Um, the whole teaching online thing has been very hectic, very busy. So I haven't gotten a chance to work on my chair, but I wanted to take you through the entire process with me. So on Wednesday, I put in some clips. I didn't do the whole thing for you. I didn't want to bore you with all of that. Um, but I finished painting the first coat of white paint and it's a paint and primer mix. Um, so I didn't have to do primer on my chair. So I'm going to show you how it looks now. Okay, so here's how it's looking with the first coat of white paint. You can see that it definitely needs another coat, but I'm loving the way that it's looking so far. So here's the paint that I'm using. It's a bare paint and primer in one in the color Polar Bear, and we used that for our dresser, so I just had it left over and it's still super full. So um, it is a matte color, so I had to get a clear gloss to go over the top, but that was... Um, not a big deal and here's all the samples of the rainbow colors I'm going to use so right now what I'm going to do is paint white on the parts where it's just going to be white and then I'll start doing the color so let's get started <music> So it's been another few days since I've updated you guys on my chair and I'm sorry. I've been super busy and I keep forgetting to film it for you and I don't want to film too much to bore you with the same types of shots of me painting. Um, so basically I finished the white. I'm going to go back in and touch up some spots once I'm finished. Um, and then I started doing the color and I've taped it all off um, for the color on all of it. So. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now.
right, it is now a day later since I updated you last. Um, this morning I did the second coat of all the colors on my chair and it's looking so good. Um, so I will take you through when I peel the tape off of it to show you what it looks like. But right now I just took some measurements and I'm going to make some stuff on my Cricut to put on there since I don't want to freehand letters and stuff like that. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to do it with my Cricut and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, so I just finished all of my stuff on the Cricut and I'm gonna show you me putting it on the chair now. I'm so excited. tape and put on some of my Cricut stuff so I have a few more things I'm gonna put on there and a few spots I need to touch up but I think I'm gonna wait and show you guys when it's completely finished after I do the clear coat and after I finish everything else so I'll see you when the project is done all right everyone it is finally time for me to show you the finished product I finished putting on all of the decals that I made on my Cricut and I put a clear coat on it. So here we go. Okay, so you can see I customized it with a little ruler and it is accurate. So if anybody wanted to measure anything with it, they could. Um, and then I made these to be little crayons. I cut out the top on my Cricut and the words and then the pencils on the side and of course my name on there. I cannot wait to see this in my classroom. So this took me about two weeks to make. I'm super happy with how it turned out. It actually turned out more perfect than I envisioned. Um, I just kept adding things and thinking of things and I could not be more happy with it. So I really, really spent a lot of time on this. Um, a lot of my clips are early in the morning or later in the afternoons because I would wake up early and be excited to work on it, but I still had to teach during my contracted hours. Um, so I'd work on it in the mornings and then sometimes on my lunch and then mostly after school and a lot of hours on the weekend. I'd say collectively, I probably spent like 20 or more hours working on this chair. So it's a lot of work, but if you are willing to do it, you have the time and the energy to put into it. It is so worth it. And it's so rewarding to see your vision come to life. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys are thinking about making your own chair or if you have any questions about making your own chair. And do not forget to subscribe because I have plenty more crafts where this one came from. I'll see you guys in the next one.